Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. A one stop where you can learn all the smart tricks which will make you smart obviously and you will be among 1% students you know who can solve problems differently and today is no different video it is yet another amazing amazing video which everybody should watch whether you are in class 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 or you are in college or you are preparing for any placement exam the topic of percentages is not going to leave you and everywhere you will find percentages whether you are studying physics or chemistry or any subject that's a very very general topic right and if you are smart in handling numbers then percentages will not be a difficult task but i have seen so many students you know who can't even calculate uh, 86 percent of 500 mentally and if you can't do it there is something to learn here in this video so jaldi se subscribe karlo do subscribe the channel right now click the subscribe button and click the bell shaped icon bhai wo dabana zaruri hai bell shaped icon agar nahi dabayenge you won't get the notifications okay so watch the complete video and this video is going to help you you know after obviously watching the complete video you will be able to do problems like this look at the problem written there 83.7% of 4629 can you do that in a single line i think one out of 200 students will say yes <laughs> so this video intends to make you competent enough to calculate big percentages which is a very important part, part of all the railways banking ssc you know all placement exams so watch the magic so the first thing i'm going to take up is obviously use of mental maths in uh, mental math short tricks in finding the percentages that is the title and no traditional methods i guarantee you when you watch the entire video there is no traditional method i will use okay so let's see the first question now so suppose i have a very simple question of finding 73 percent of 92 now most of the students are going to struggle here now once you know the vertically and crosswise method of uh, finding the product of numbers this is going to be as easy as it gets 7 3 9 2 right so i that means 3 2s are 6 x means 27 and 14 27 and 14 is 41 so 1 and a 4 carry remember this in the mind okay and i 7 nines are 63 plus 4 is 67 so where is the answer for this percentage i multiplied them using vertical and crosswise and so percentage means two decimal places so from the right hand side just put a decimal two digits from the right hand side you get your answer now pick up the calculators and check 73 percent of 92 is that 67.16 you will be really really surprised but what is the what is new in that we are just multiplied numbers right I can do that using traditional approach also yes you can but you will consume more time because you will be writing so many lines one behind uh, one under the other okay so I'll show you how this works wonderfully see let's take one more question 48.6 percent see I have created more complexity for myself 48.6 percent is like three digit right and of let's take 65 so here we have a three digit number 486 and here we have a two digit number 65 so let's put a zero and again do the same thing first six fives are 30 so zero and a three carry then the last two pairs have to be cross multiplied this is 36 and this is 40 so 76 plus 379 so nine and a seven carry now first and last 20 first and last zero and 48 48 plus 20 is 68 plus 7 is 75 so 5 and a 7 carry again and the last step here in these two we have only 24 this is 0 right 24 and 7 is 31 now where do we place the decimal now you have to be really quick in doing this to find the percentage okay so how many decimal places one here and for percentage two more so in all three so one two three and the answer for the question is three one point five nine now again check using calculator friends and 
learn these things okay let's complicate it further 34.8 percent look at the percentages they are like huge right and most of the students are going to get scared <laughs> and the other number which i am taking up is say um, another three digit number 723 now see i am really good in crisscross method this is only the first method was the complete video i am coming up with four or five more methods okay so three four eight seven two three right so twenty four four two sixteen and twelve twenty eight thirty zero three now first and last nine first and last fifty six fifty six and nine sixty five plus eight sixty five plus eight seventy three 73 plus 3, 76. So 7 carry. And then the first two pairs 28 and 6, 34. And 7, 41, 1, 4 carry. And finally 21 plus 4, 25. 251604. Let me verify. 251604. Awesome. And where do we put the decimal? 1, 1, 2, 3. In all three uh, decimal places. So put the decimal, you get 251.604 as the required percentage, accurate percentage. Now this is the beauty of criss-cross method or the vertically and crosswise method in Vedic Maths. You know you can calculate percentages so smartly, okay. So this was just the beginning. Now watch what happens next. I am going to take up numbers which, uh, you know, if you swap the percentage sign, it will be an easy problem. Suppose I'll give you an example of 83% of 25. Hardly 50% of the students will know that swapping the percentage sign doesn't affect the percentage. 83% of 25 is actually same as finding 25% of 83. And now, if you know 25% is 1 fourth, so you just have to divide 83 by 4, right? And for that, you have to take what? Half of half, dividing by 4 is half of half. Half of this is 41.5 and another time half gives you 20.75 where the answer now becomes the calculator, nothing traditional. This is all pure mental math tricks which are going to help us in cracking these questions. Let's take one more. Look at the problem, 15.44%. So, scared? Watch what is going to happen. Of a number like 37.5. Now, whenever I see 37.5 in a percentage, no, I'm so happy because I know 37.5 is 3 times 12.5. Okay? And 12.5 is 1 eighth. Now, these are the things in mental maths you should understand. If you don't understand these basic things, you will be busy multiplying the numbers only in the exam also. So, what do we do here? I'll swap the sign. 37.5% of 15.44 okay now 37.5 i know is 3 8 3 8 of 15.44 right easy no right let's check whether okay division by 8 how do you divide numbers by 8 3 times halving right what is half of this it is 7.72 what is half of this it is 3.8 6. What is half of this? It is 1.93. Oh wow. And you have a 3 also. So 3 times 1.93. Let's check whether we are getting the correct answer or not. I am still yet to see the decimal. So 3 3s are 9. 3 9s are 27, 7, 2 and 5. So I am getting 579. Where do I put the decimal? For this percentage sign, I have already taken care of these three, okay? Now, there are two more decimal places here. So, put a decimal two digits from the right hand side and here you go. 5.79 is the answer. Pick up the calculators, friends. And do appreciate, do share the video, you know. Keep learning, do share it. Uh, on all the WhatsApp media, you know, wherever you are present on social media, put it, the link. Everybody should learn all these things, okay? Let's see one more question like this. Suppose you have 73.8% of a number like say 45. So 45 is much easier than 73.8. So I will swap the sign. 45% of 73.8. And I know 45% is 45 upon 100 which is 9 upon 20. 
करेक्ट ऑफ सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट ना हाउ डू यू डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी आई डोट वॉन्ट टू डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी आई एल डिवाइड बाई टू इन स्टेट सो आई राइट नाइन बाई टेन एंड देन डिवाइड दिस बाई टू थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन सी मेंटल मैथ्स हैज टू बी रियली स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके सो नाइन नाइन आर एटी वन वन एट कैरी नाइन सिक्स आर फिफ्टी फोर सिक्सटी टू टू सिक्स कैरी नाइन थ्री आर ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी थ्री सो थ्री थ्री टू वन एंड ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू पुट द डेसिमल एट द राइट प्लेस नाउ विच इज हाउ मेनी डेसिमल प्लेसेज सो यू कैन सी थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट टू वन check the answer now you will be surprised that your answer will never ever be wrong okay so these are the things friends we need to all understand and let's see some more some more some more let's let's not give you a big lecture okay let's give you some more tricks the third one look at this percentage 81% of 141 now what is special about this question the special thing is I should know on seeing the numbers 81 and 141 that both of the numbers are ending in one, and whenever they end in one, I am so happy again <laughs> because I can multiply these numbers virtually orally. You know how? Just watch. Apart from one, I have eight here, fourteen here. So I write one. One is by default. Fourteen plus eight is what? Twenty-two. And fourteen times eight, eight four the thirty two two three hundred and twelve, right? Now one twenty two means two, and the two carried over here, so hundred and twelve means hundred and fourteen. Got my product, and where is the answer for the percentage sign two decimal places? One one four point two one is the required percentage. See, you may not confront these uh, everywhere, but. If we have a bag full of tricks to multiply the numbers, the percentages are going to be really, really easy. Why? <laughs> so I'll give, I'll take one more example like this. Suppose you have thirty-five point one percent, and the number is sixty-one, right? So I'll write one again because both of, both the numbers are ending in one. Now thirty-five and six is forty-one, and thirty-five times six. How how do we do thirty-five times six? Um, Seventy triple two hundred and ten, right? So one, one four means two hundred and fourteen. Now where is the decimal? One two three three decimal places, and your answer is twenty one point four one one. Now again, you can pick up the calculators and check your answers, friends. It is not going to be wrong at all. Okay, what happens when the numbers ending two? Like suppose you have seventy two percent. Of 122. See, I'm simplifying all types of percentages. Okay, making you resourceful. Now, whenever the numbers end in two, forget the twos. Okay, forget the twos. Write a four. Two twos are four, right? And again, add 12 plus seven, 19. But this time, double it. So double of 19. And 12 times seven, 84. Now, what's the magic? Four, 38. 84, right? So 4, 8, 3 goes here. 87. Where will you put the decimal? Two digits. And here we have 87.84 as the answer for this particular question. Now, keep on appreciating. You know, you need to put put your comments whether you are enjoying the video or not. Okay. And once you start enjoying, do share it. Okay. <laughs> we are still not done friends the best is yet to be watch suppose you have a question like 89% of a number like say 97 now as soon as i see this question i know that these two numbers are very close to 100 and i immediately remember the base method do you know ekadike purve ek nune purve these are very very important concepts of vedic maths which you can use here so 89 and 97, very close to 100. So what will I do? I'll write like this: 100 minus 89 is 11. 100 minus 97 is 3. 11 times 3 is 33. And subtract like this: 89 minus 3 is 86. Wow! Where do I put the decimal? Two decimal places. 86.33 is my answer. I'll not take more than three seconds cracking this question, friends. And you should also not take more than three seconds in doing this. Let's take the numbers like ten point nine percent. 
and of a number like 114. Okay, so both the numbers are close to 100, but above the 100 mark. So 109, 114. Watch. 100 minus this is minus 9. 100 minus this is minus 14. If you multiply minus minus becomes plus and 14 9 times is 126. I put a slash because I don't want three digits here. I want only two digits. Okay. Mastery over basic maths and mastery over basic skills is really important. Right. And subtract like this or subtract like this. Here also you can subtract like this. No problem. 109 minus minus 14. 123. Got it. And so I need only two digits from here. So 26 retained. 1 carry forward, 123 becomes 124, put the decimal, how many decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 3 decimal places and therefore the answer is 12.426, answer will never ever be wrong friends, never ever be wrong, watch one more, 108% of 93, my answer is going to be more than 93 because it is 108%, okay, so 10893. Watch again, Vedic Maths at its best. 100 minus this is minus 8. 100 minus this is 7. When you multiply them, you get minus 56. Oh my God, big trouble. But we will solve the trouble also. Now subtract like this or like this. You get the same thing, 101. Borrow 1 from here. So this becomes 100. And what? What? Subtract this from 100. 100 minus 56. So what do you get? 1, 0, 0. And 100 minus 56 is 44. And where do you put the decimal? Two digits, right? And there you go. Pick up the calculators. 100 minus 100.44. Is that the correct answer for the question? Watch, friends. See the beauty of Vedic maths. Which percentage is difficult? Tell me. If you know the vertical and crosswise, no percentage is difficult, even if it contains four digits. And you remember the question I gave you. In the beginning of the video, here we have the question. And now I want you to find this using vertically and crosswise. And do post your comments here in the comment box below. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends because it will benefit each and every student, each and every student who is preparing for any kind of competition. And I'm sure you are going to enjoy this. So friends, do subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to click the bell shaped icon. Thanks for watching this and all the best.